Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. William Ruto made some remarks today. Remarks that seems to be targeting Musalia Mudavadi. For some days and even weeks now, regarding the Shagwam and Musalia Mudawadi have been engaged in some shadow boxing. So today, William Ruto for the very first time made known his thoughts on the ongoing shadow boxing between these two leaders. In this video, I want us to listen to William Samoy Ruto for his remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and a discussion right now. Listen to this before we continue. The people of Kenya went to the ballot. There was the name of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa on the ballot. They signed off and we have a contract. It may not be written in any paper, unlike uh, you guys, at least you have a, a, a contract between me and you. You have a letter of appointment. My letter of appointment, we received it on the 9th of August. So that letter of appointment has responsibilities, and those responsibilities are solemn. Those responsibilities are sacred. The contract that we have with the people of Kenya is solemn and sacred. And my request to you, members of my team, cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries, is that... Yes. William Ruto is making it very clear that him and Rigati Gashagwa, they were given the mandate by the people. They were elected by the people. The others are appointed. That's exactly what William Ruto is trying to say. If you dissect those remarks, Ruto is telling Musale Mudabadi that Rigadi Gashagwa is not your equal. Rigadi was elected. For you, you have been nominated. It's us who have given you the job. So respect Rigadi Gashagwa. That's exactly what William Ruto is trying to say. And just as I've been saying here, William Ruto sees Rigadi Gashagwa as a stronger leader compared to Musale Mudavadi. So when Rigadi coughs, William Ruto feels it. And I believe that's why William Ruto is now lying down to end the simmering bad blood between him and Rigadi Gachagwa. Because it's almost very certain and very clear that if things continue as they have been going on, then it's just a matter of time before Rigadi Gachagwa and his team starts attacking William Ruto directly. Because it's very clear Rigadi and his men have been attacking William Ruto through Mudavadi and Sakaja. But if things were to persist, then most likely it was going to reach a point they will now be attacking William Ruto directly. And I'm saying that based on what we saw with Uhuru and Ruto. At first, Ruto and his men were not attacking Uhuru directly. But as time went by, they started attacking Uhuru directly. That's exactly what William Ruto is trying to avoid here. So, what are the end games of all this? The only way there will be peace in William Ruto's government is for William Ruto to acknowledge that Rigadi Gashagwa is first amongst equal on the mountain as far as leaders from the mountain in Kenya Kwanzaa are concerned. William Ruto must first acknowledge that Rigadi Gashagwa stands tall among all mountain leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. 
if William Ruto can acknowledge that, I'm seeing William Ruto and Igadi Gashagwa going to work cordially and very peacefully. But if William Ruto does not want to recognize that, then the shadow boxing will still continue. And by William Ruto accepting that, it just means he will give Rigathi Gashagwa the free will to consolidate the mountain fully behind him as Rigathi Gashagwa. Because what has been causing all this, all this shadow boxing, Rigathi attacking Modavadi and Johnson Sakaja, Rigathi is trying to build his political brand on the mountain. Rigathi is trying to come up as the undisputed Mount Kenya kingpin. William Ruto on the other side is trying to hold on to the mountain vote. Ruto does not want a leader emerging as the mountain political kingpin. Because if a leader emerges, then Ruto will be forced come 2027 to negotiate with that leader. Ruto does not want hmm, his fate as far as the mountain votes to be pegged on his negotiation with any mountain leader. So if William Ruto can accept hmm, the reality that Rigadi is the first amongst equal, they will work very peacefully. And from those remarks by William Ruto, I'm seeing a Musala Mudavadi who is very clueless. William Ruto sees this as a weak leader because Musalia is coming out as a leader easy to manipulate. And I'm saying that because Musalia Mudavadi has got his own party, ANC. He has got his own party, ANC. Rigadi is in Uda. Looking at the way Musalia is campaigning, or rather is talking, he's already supporting William Ruto for 2027. That is, he will not contest for 2027 because he knows Ruto will win. Look at Rigadi Gashagwa. Rigadi is very keen and very busy consolidating the mountain vote fully behind him. In fact, he has not even started campaigning for William Ruto 2027. Already Musalia has started that. A confirmation that Musalia is very clueless in terms of political strategy. And if already has now thrown his weight behind William Ruto, what will happen in Western is that William Ruto will become stronger than him on the ground. Mm -hmm. So by 2027, Musala Mudavadi might be politically irrelevant even in Western Kenya. Rigadi is consolidating the mountain. By 2027, he will, his word might be the law on the mountain. Ruto will now be forced to negotiate properly with Rigadi, assuming he succeeds in consolidating the mountain vote behind him. So Ruto is talking that way because he believes Mudavadi is a political lightweight. He is easy to manipulate. And those remarks by William Ruto also just confirms that Ruto is actually playing on the psychology of these two leaders, Mudavadi and Rigadi. Ruto knows that these are political lightweights compared to him. So he's just taking them in circles. He's inciting this to fight this. Then he's trying to please this one to create an impression that is not behind the person fighting him. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. If you want to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.